Once you've done the legwork to find your control panel and you have the cover removed, the next thing to do is identify the control panel and what system do you really have. On the inside of the panel door, you'll often find a wiring diagram which has a description of what the screw terminals are for and you'll find on an ADT branded Honeywell system the word SafeWatch or SafeWatch Pro. That's your indication that you have a branded Honeywell Vista panel that was put in by ADT. Those are the systems that are most easily upgraded. Both of these panels are safe watches and both of these panels can be upgraded to Total Connect 2.0 services. To find out if your system can be PROM upgraded, you have to locate the black PROM chip in the middle of the green circuit board which has a model number and a revision printed on the white sticker. When it's a regular Honeywell system, you'll see WA, William Alpha, followed by V, 10P, 15P, 20P, or 21IP. Those are the most popular Honeywell uh, regular systems, non-branded for any kind of uh, dealer or alarm company. On those systems, the 10P panels cannot do Total Connect 2.0. So that's the easiest way to rule those panels out. On a 15P or a 20P, if you want to be able to do Total Connect, you need to have a chip that's dash 912 or higher. So V 15P dash 912 or V 20P dash 912 or higher. Uh, currently, they're up to 10.23 or 24. Uh, so of course, those do Total Connect as well. But if you happen to have a Vista 15P dash 2.0 chip, while that system as it stands with that chip can't do Total Connect, you simply pop out the PROM, put in a new PROM, and now your system can do Total Connect. Same idea on the ADT systems. On the ADT systems, it'll say WA3000 or WA3001 dash a number. ADT systems are slightly different than their Honeywell counterparts, so we don't have the exact number of a dash 2.0 or higher that will work. Um, there is some programming that you can look at from the keypad if you have something that's around a 2.0 version on ADT to find out if it will work or not. Um, but typically, anything um, above a 3.0 chip will be able to be PROM upgraded. In our case, we have a WA3001-5.4, and this can definitely be PROM upgraded. 